Well, the Bobs have scored 80 or more points in four straight games for the first time since December of 2015, and they improved to 6-1 and one with an 82-58 victory over South Dakota with Casey Jacobson on JV Long, 41 points in each half. Let's start in the first one. They were really sharing it well. Yeah, well, the Buffs are like the college basketball version of the L.A. Rams, if you will, J.B. Long. An offensive juggernaut that cannot be slowed down right now. In the first half, they had eight different players that scored. And Evan Batty was dropping dimes to everybody. Tyler Bay was really efficient from the field. Schwartz dunking on people's heads. Then the second half, they continue their onslaught. And this is what good teams do. In the second half, even though they have a lead, they don't relent at all. Tyler Bay doing work. How about the step back, showing that he's not just a high flyer. And then McKinley Wright, another fantastic all-around performance, 11.6 rebounds and five assists for him. How much fun are the Colorado Buffs to watch? And Todd Boyle said, it's a great team to coach, a fun team to coach. When there's life in this building, they're going to be very difficult to beat. This is their fourth win by a margin of at least 24 points. Wow. Double figures up and down their roster. And they're getting after you defensively as well, not giving an inch. Now, let's see what they can do in the next couple of games before they go to Hawaii where they're going to face stiffer competition. Uh, speaking of that defense, they hold South Dakota sub-34% shooting, the lowest in a year for this Buffs defense. 